Hi, thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a tuple from a string and a list of strings. I think um, because this is actually quite specific, the first thing that would be a good idea to do is just confirm what this, these terms mean. So let's just confirm what, what a string is. So uh, first of all, so a string is basically a sequence of characters. It can be alphabetical characters, can be um, numeric characters, and can be what we call special, oops, special characters. So um, things like that. So, so that is basically a string. A list is basically it's a, it's a container and it's used to store multiple items in a single variable. So a list we uh, enclose in square brackets and a list can actually contain, it can contain a string like that but it can also contain uh, digits, it can contain numeric values, it can contain floats, uh, it could contain boolean values, so it, it contains different values in one variable. It allows duplicate values, and it's and it's ordered as well. A tuple is very similar. It's it's a container again for storing different variables, different items as, as one variable. And again, um, oops, where am I? Sorry. This time it's the it's the round brackets. Uh, and we'll come back to that. Again, it can be a string, it could be numeric, it could be uh, digits, it could be floats, it could be um, boolean values. So, so that's what they are, and we can just confirm that we have in fact got that right. So uh, we want to confirm our list is in fact a list, yeah, and our tuple is in fact a tuple, yeah, and our string is in fact a string. So just confirm that those are different examples. Now you've probably seen that there really is not a huge difference between a list and a tuple. They work pretty much in the same way but there are two key differences we have to we have to bear in mind. The first one is one of syntax. Our tuple over here has got the, the round brackets whereas our string, our string is in, sorry, our string, our list is enclosed in the square brackets. That's one difference. Um, the other difference, which is really, I, th I think the key difference, is, is how you can change them once you've got them. So for me, the key difference with two is that the tuple is what they call immutable. So that means that once we've created it, we can't change it. So if we have data that we don't want the user to change, a tuple, tuple is great. A list, on the other hand, means is, is mutable. So what that means is it can be changed once it's created. So hopefully now we've got an idea of what these different um, terms mean. So what we're going to look at is how we can create a tuple from a string and a list of strings. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to get rid of this tuple and I'm just going to change the, the string and the list to something a bit more manageable. So um, my string is just going to be hello and then on the list we're just going to put strings in there Today is Sunday. Okay, so that's uh, that, and I can just confirm again that my list is in fact a list. Yeah, it's a list. Okay, so how do you convert this into tuple? Well, be pleased to know that um, with Python they've made this very easy for us because they actually have a, a function that, that does that, and it's a built-in function, so I don't need to uh, import anything, and it's a tuple function. And that's what it looks like. So um, this tuple function will allow us to convert a, a str uh, our string and our list into a tuple. And there are two ways we can do this. One's list, what they call list conversion, and the other way is called tuple conversion. Let's start with um, list conversion. Um, list conversion, basically there, there are three, three things we have to do. Uh, by default, the tuple function actually turns a list object into a tuple. So because in our example we have a string and a list, the first thing we need to do is convert our, our string object to a list object. And we do that by enclosing it in these square brackets. So by enclosing my string in square brackets, I'm making it a list. The second thing I need to do is append it to my existing list. So I'm going to append it to my existing list. So uh, that will make one one variable and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it through this tuple function. Uh, I'm going to call that the variable that comes out res and so 
we pass it through the tuple function. So what we've done, just to confirm, converted our string to a list, appended it to this in list, and then passed it through the tuple function. Oops, and then if I get my result, and I can confirm this is in fact a tuple, yeah, it's a tuple. So I'm just bringing it up a bit. So look, we have our uh, round brackets over here, um, comma separated variables inside. It's one item and it's a tuple. So that's our list conversion. The next thing we're going to look at is tuple. So with tuple conversion, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to convert both our string and our list directly to a tuple. And this is how we do it. So I'm going to call this result one and I can just pass my string directly through and then I'm going to call the tuple function on my list. Um, this syntax here we're going to come back to, um, just bear with me on that. Uh, so let's just see if this works. Yeah, hello, today is Sunday. I've got the, the brackets right and we can confirm it just by confirming the type. And yeah, it is indeed a tuple. So uh, that's worked. Tuple conversion, as you may have noticed, but what we've done, we've done something strange over here. Um, we haven't explicitly asked uh, Python to convert my string to a tuple. Uh, and we've also added this little comma over here. Now, that's not a typo. It's basically all to do with the way that Python handles um, single, single items with a tuple. Uh, so what we're going to look at now is, is look at that specifically. How do we create a tuple from a single item? Okay, let me just again um, get rid of this kernel over here so we can hopefully uh, see something a bit better, get it higher up on the screen. Okay, uh, there we go. Hopefully that's or better. I'll try and keep this up there. So um, let's see what happens if we just pass a single item through uh, the tuple function. So let's pass my string without the comma through the tuple function. So let's see what happens here. Oops, sorry, because I convert everything. I have to. I cleared my kernel, so um, that's why I didn't recognize my string. So let's see what happens here. So I'm just passing a single item my string which is this single string here through a tuple function and I'm, I'm taking out the comma that we'd had before what will happen here so what happens is that Python's assume that each character of our string represents an individual item so it's divided up the hello by each character and it's taken the um, the comma over here means that each of these items is represented as a different so each of the characters is represented as a different item. So, so that's not really what we want, but this is down to the way that Python creates tuples with single items. And that's irrespective of if it's a string, an integer, or a float. Now simply by adding the comma after our item, as we've done here, what we're doing is we're telling Python this item we want to make a tuple. And that's all we have to do. So um, let me try and uh, bring this up. So now what would happen if I uh, added my comma and I passed it through the tuple function. So as we said, this is the Python function create for creating tuples. Now I'm going to do my string, but I'm going to add the comma here. What's going to happen here? Oops. Ooh, that's that's probably not what we were expecting. Uh, it's done exactly the same thing again. And again, this is down to the way that Python creates tuples with single items. Because we've added this comma, we've told Python this is a single item that we want to make a tuple from. By passing it then through the tuple function, what we're doing is, is we're telling Python that we want actually each character of our item to be treated as a separate, um, sorry, each character of our string variable to be treated as a separate element. So if we actually want to do this properly and we want to just make a, um, uh, make a single item into a tuple. We don't have to pass it through the tuple function. We just have to pass it with a comma. And there you go. And if I can uh, just do the, let's do it down here. What's the type? It's definitely a tuple. The other thing we can do actually here is um, I can actually take out these brackets. 
and as you can see I still have my uh, hello as a single item tuple and it and it's a tuple so with or without brackets it does the same thing so the last thing we're going to look at in this uh, this video is basically the use of these parentheses or these these brackets over here um, because these are really very much optional uh, as we've seen here we haven't included the parentheses or the brackets over here but we still get a single item tuple now just as we've done it here so we basically what we're saying is it's not the parentheses or the brackets that create the tuple it's basically it's this, it's this comma this comma over here is what tells python i want to create a tuple we could also create a tuple directly um let me do this sorry let me do uh call it my tuple we can create a tuple uh, directly by just using the comma to separate our our, our, our items so hello, oops yeah and because I'm putting this comma after every item this is actually what is telling Python that I want to create a tuple so if I run that see I've got no way of a method and if I type well let's just print it out let's oops, sorry, let's have a look at what it looks like first let's just have a look at the output of my tuple yeah see I've got those parentheses I've got the brackets there and each of my items has been separated by a comma and if I just confirm get confusing there if I just confirm what the type of my tuple here it is indeed a tuple so it's basically these this comma that's what creates the tuple not the percent not the parentheses not the not the brackets okay so we've seen a few different ways of creating a tuple from a string and a, a list of strings um, really the, the, the tuple function that we've got here the list conversion over here where we're converting it to a list and running through the function or the tuple conversion which is the second method here those are these are both really ideal for doing it uh, there's no real difference between the two um, apparently this tuple conversion here where we create tuples directly is a bit faster than list conversion because we're not we're not creating lists and then converting to tuples but apparently it's marginal depends on if how important speed is for you the other thing we've looked at is um, creating a tuple from a single item as we've seen we can't pass it directly through the tuple function um, but by using a comma what we basically can do is we can tell Python that we want to create a tuple out of a single item and we've also seen here that these parentheses these brackets are very much an optional uh, feature because we can actually create a tuple without the parentheses without these brackets whilst it is optional um, it is actually good practice to include them anyway primarily so anyone else reading your code can understand that you do explicitly want to create a tuple and it just avoids any ambiguity I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.